Welcome, in front of me I have Skagen HR Falster 3 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First thing we need to do is to turn on the watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the uh, middle button, the crown button right here. Press and hold it until you see the um, logo on the screen. Once you see the logo, you can uh, release the button and wait until the watch turns on. And after the watch turns on, you may see the tap to begin message on the screen. If you see it, tap on the screen to continue. Oh, my bad. Uh, let's go back. And once you tap on the screen, you will see the list of languages. You can scroll through it by swiping up and down on the screen. Uh, find the language you would like to use on your watch. And once you find it, tap on it to select. And after you select the language, tap on the check mark. And you will see this message. Basically, what it means we need to is that we need to download and install the Wear OS application on our phone. So make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled on the phone you want to pair uh, your watch with. Then open the Play Store, uh, tap on search and type in uh, Wear uh, OS and tap on search. And you should see this application Wear OS by Google. Tap on the install button to download and install it. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. In the app, uh, you should see the start setup button. Tap on it. Tap on agree. Tap on I agree. Wait until the app detects your watch. As you can see, here we have it. Let's tap on it to select it. Tap on pair. And once you see this screen, uh, you can basically um, copy Google accounts from your phone to your watch. This is useful if you want to use Google services on your watch like Gmail, uh, Play Store and stuff like that. So if you want to use Google services on your watch and select the account to copy, basically one, if you turn it, uh, turn the switch on next to the account, it will be copied. If you turn it off, it won't be copied. And then you can tap on next. Of course, you can also skip this step and not copy anything, but be aware that you won't be able to use the uh, Google services on your watch unless you copy the Google account to it. So select the account, then tap on next. And here tap on copy. Now we need to confirm uh, that this is our account, so we need to enter the password for it. And then we need to tap on sign in. And after you log in into account, it's gonna be copied to your watch. And next we can uh, opt to connect to the Wi-Fi networks. Basically what this option does, if you tap on connect, uh, the app will copy the Wi-Fi networks from your phone to your watch and it will connect automatically. You can also skip this step if you want to and then you can uh, connect to the Wi-Fi networks uh, manually from the settings. I'm just gonna tap on connect. Here we can uh, allow the a permission for the uh, calls and stuff like that, calls messages, so you can um, manage them on the watch. If you want to use this feature, tap on next and allow the permissions. If you don't care, tap on skip. I'm just gonna allow all of, all of the permissions, but it's up to your liking. Next, we have the calendar. So if you want to manage calendar on your watch, again, you need to allow the permission. If you don't care, you can skip it. And here we have notifications. So if you want to see the notifications uh, from your phone on your watch, notifications uh, from apps, you will need to allow the permission. If you don't care, you can skip and then keep it denied. I'm gonna allow it like that. I must have missed it, so let's stop again. Oh, never mind. It's gonna redirect us to notification access. Um, so once you re uh, get redirected here, find the uh, Wear OS by Google and make sure it's on the allowed list. As you can see, it is, so you can go back. If it wasn't, simply tap on the um, a Google there uh, and tap on the switch, allow notification access, and then it will be allowed. Okay, and with the notifications um, allowed, we can uh, let's also tap on next, done. And at this point, you should see the uh, Foster free on the in the app, basically. It will be device page for your watch. And once you see it, you'll be also able to use the watch 
which means that the devices are paired together. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.